Welcome, friends. My name is Frenzy here, once again bringing you some Kerbal Space Program mod overview. We are taking a look at Real Engines, which uh, is is very, in some ways, similar to Bobcat's engines. I don't know if there's any relation, but it's an incredible uh, part pack focused primarily, I believe, on Soviet-based engines or Russian-based engines, depending on the time period. But they are pretty incredible um some of the the detail i've seen on these are probably some of the best i've ever seen i can only imagine the amount of modeling work that were put into these engines had to be absolutely <laughs> ludicrous just some of them are just so detailed um and we're just going to do kind of a part test here which i've done with some other videos so you'll get to actually see them light up a little bit here but uh, I did want to just take a minute to kind of just bask in the glory of all things um, modeling here. Because this is, I'm not a modeler, but man, I, I've seen a lot of KSP models and wow, these are just, just incredible. So let's, let's go ahead and uh, light them up, see what they look like in action. And then we'll, we'll have a little fun later on here, but let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how these bad boys fire. So here we go we had our first engine now uh, hopefully they'll fire in some semblance of an order but uh we'll see all right we're firing off just these little baby engines As you can see these are s5 8ms um s592 so all different types of engines here again from the smallest to some big boys and you can see some of the exhaust plume there it looks absolutely beautiful yes Ooh, yeah, very, very different. This is more like an SRB style. And we have uh, some beautiful RD-180s, which we'll be putting to use here in just a little bit on an Atlas, because they're just too nice not to. Wow, man. The RD-170s, some incredible engines here. Ooh, RD-120s. Oh, that's just so pretty. Wow, that's beautiful. We like the Verniers, I believe. Ooh. Very just beautiful. Just very, very nice. I can only imagine how much thrust this is probably creating right now. <laughs> wow, there we go. That's a big boy engine. Man, oh man. Now we got the NK-43. Classic engine. We got the NK-33. Oh man! Oh boy! I uh, forgot there was the decoupling of that at the end there. <laughs> oh man, that's great! <laughs> I'll, I'll, you know what? I I'm just gonna keep this. I'm just gonna keep this. This seems like a fitting Kerbal um, end here, if you will. So we'll keep that. <laughs> it just keeps going. Can, can I fly it? Is it is it flyable or did I, I probably lost my probe core? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. There we go. They're they're all destroyed. I think finally. Very very nice. Very Kerbal, but <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'm glad I decided to do some live commentary, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Alrighty, and we're we're back to, I guess future me if that was present me. Either way, uh, I, we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of give you some an idea of these engines and actions. The RD 180s we're using on top of an Atlas V as they should be um you can see they look beautiful they're very efficient engines i had to scale down the size of this just because it was like a four minute burn on my first stage which is insane <laughs> and so they're they're not insanely powerful but with the use of boosters and other things they're actually pretty good so you, you have some i guess realistically performing engines in, in that sense because you know they burn pretty long but they're not overpowered so just just be aware of that um, they might be better for lighter payloads. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. And uh, you can see we, we just have our little payload here, which is our basically just this little space station beginning. I thought I would throw in some my mod overview um, kind of build of KSP. That way, you know, maybe we can do some mods that require a space station or building a space station of some kind. Of course, I built this horribly wrong with no electricity and no uh, nothing really to, to control it or add power to it. So, so it, it'll be a work in progress, but... As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. And if you would like to see more, I would love to hear have you here as a subscriber. So don't be afraid to subscribe as well. And comment suggestions, always appreciated. But I'm out, guys, and I will see you next time.